Ever wonder how we can create this amazing teleportation effect in simple way? See, amazing. In this video, we will dive into that. Hi everyone, this is Dice and welcome to my channel. We are here in this beautiful garden as you can see. Wow, this is the fresh air, honestly. So again, we have amazing Discord community. If you're interested, you can join on the link in the description. And this is amazing community. It can be helpful for you. So with that, we're gonna do amazing particle magical stuff in this video. So let's jump into our studio. Okay, in this video, we are going to see Spark X 0.2. It's have amazing uh, future. And I want to show you some of that. Let's go without further ado. Okay, we are in Houdini, as you can see. And we have this character with animation, you see. And let me get rid of this grid. And we have this jumping, you see. Okay, this is dark. But maybe for now, let's go with light background yeah cool and i want to show you uh, the generator of spark x first if i do one spark x in here and in generator it's set to every frame it will emit every frame uh, whether it's a particle or a pyro etc but in here as you can see you see we have a particle emitting but uh, in every n frame we can offset that for for example every 10 frame you see in every 10 frame it's emitting for the sake of this demonstration let's have a point velocity let's calculate point velocity and now you see <laughs> this is amazing <laughs> uh, effect i <laughs> love it yeah that's cool and let me see you see and yeah you can have a, a grid this is off the record <laughs> so uh, you have you can have a grid as a collider and you can make it big enough and yeah let's see you see that's cool so this is generate a generator with uh, every n frame and uh, you can go with shot option it will generate once in frame number five and you see you can offset that for example 10 see that's cool. okay uh, the shot it's uh, straightforward the hit uh, we talk about that in this tutorial of course uh, make sure to watch it this is the first and uh, introduction tutorial and this is uh, with every n frame and of course you can uh, emit pyro too let me show you yeah it will calculate that pyro it's a bit slow in here but yeah you see we have we have that it will uh, emit every n uh, any 10 frames sorry so that's with this one and let me show you okay let's go to the smoke and of course in smoke you can have any color you want right this is straightforward you can change that based on this color range you see it's straightforward and yet, yet you can have a white color this is amazing and for the pyro exception pyro uh, all the color tab it's for the visualization purpose if you render if you want to render this pyro in karma you need to do the same thing in pyro shader so this is with a uh, black body and yeah another cool thing thing we have in here is adoption mode it will adopt cd color from that for example let me show you in piggy yeah in piggy first so that's our piggy let's make it big i don't want any shader let's have a color specifically i need a bounding color i need some variation you see we have a, a different color and if i now create spark x let me show you and if i 
I have this pyro. Yeah, maybe let's make it one. Okay. And let's go with smoke. If I uh, go to the color and adoption, this is the cool thing. You can adopt the CD color from the input. <laughs> wow. That's so amazing and so straightforward. And of course, you can uh, you can uh, manipulate that with color range. And you see, it's adopting the color from the input. And this is, of course, uh, have a CD field. You can use that in Karma. You see that? These have a color information. So this is amazing. Of course, you can have a random color in here and it will work. But let me show you the fire. If that's working or not. Okay. Uh, in adoption, we don't, we cannot uh, simulate fire. Uh, we can only simulate smoke. So uh, have that in mind. I need to include that in the documentation. Of course, you can have uh, this uh, guide in here. So this is the simple one. But how we can transfer this shader, which is uh, which is FBX material uh, path in here? How we can translate that to the CD color? Because if you pay attention to that, we don't have any CD color. So for that, I want to delete first the attribute. I want to delete this. And as you can see, we don't have any CD color to it. And maybe yeah, that. And in here, I can go from attribute from map, something like that. Yeah, attribute from map. And this is straightforward. You can uh, uh, load the texture in here. Let me see where are you? So this is the texture. And now we have an actual CD color to it. You see, we have CD color without any shading. And if you want more uh, quality to it, it's easy. Have a subdivide. And yeah, you can go with that. You see, it's better. But I think I need the subdivide before that. You see that? Now we have more information. Yeah. But uh, let's delete the subdivide. Sorry. We are in the live mode or stream mode. <laughs> Everything can happen. So uh, now if I go to this and go to the adoption and boom, you see that? Cool. <laughs> it's adopting the color of the input. That's so amazing. Of, of course, let me bring the particle scale in here and you see okay for that of course you can do something like that let me show you i have a test scene in here you can do something like that Okay, we are back. So this is a color adoption and a generator uh, shot frame. And if you're interested, this is a SparkX 0.2. It's available on my Patreon in the shop section or in the champion tier. Big shout out for these amazing people on my Patreon. Thank you guys. I appreciate it and have fun with our content. So with that, have a good day. Goodbye.